views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. What if your biggest dreams were already assured as they've been written in the stars? Want a boost to raise your vibration to 5D and higher? Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams helps you access the wisdom of your higher self and guides to balance your ego, progress spiritually, and discover your life purpose and larger soul mission. Wendy is a Seattle area past life regressionist, certified spiritual teacher, Reiki master energy healer, and award-winning author. Plan your magic carpet ride now with Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Good morning. I'm Wendy Rose Williams, and you're listening to Soul Wisdom Radio on TransformationTalkRadio.com and recording live at Seattle's KKNW 1150 AM. We've got a beautiful, sunny, clear morning here, and I'm waiting for my throat to clear. Lots of good energy coming in for the program, so pardon me for that. Join us for the next hour as we help you tune into the deep wisdom of your own unique soul or higher self and help you live a more joyful life. Today's topic is one of my favorite, past life energy, and it's fit with life purpose and our larger soul mission across all our incarnations. I'm so excited Karen Downing from Your Soul Mission is my guest today. We'll be taking calls at one 800 930 2819 after the first break. So get ready to call in. That number again is 1 800 930 2819. Karen is a soul mission facilitator, a past life specialist, and a spiritual teacher. Her focus is to assist others discover and live their true soul mission. Karen's website is your, Y O U R, soulmission.com. I have three announcements before we dive in with Karen. I'm excited to share with you I'm one of the first Seattle Airbnb experience hosts. This Friday night, December 8th from 6.30 to 9, I'm facilitating a past life regression workshop in Linwood, Washington. Please visit my website at wendyrosewilliams.com for more info or click on the events tab on transformationtalkradio.com to register for this experiential workshop. I've scheduled two of these fast-paced workshops each month on select Friday evenings and Saturday and Sunday afternoons, including this Friday night and again January 5th, January 13th, and February 9th and February 17th. Workshop participants receive a copy of my first book, Regression Healing One, The Huntsman, The Lord High Mayor, and The World War II Soldier as an example of a comprehensive past life regression and healing session. And the book is also sold on Amazon. During past life energy, excuse me, during past life regression, the energy that's ready to be released and healed, it presents first. Emotions are timeless and they often become stuck in our energy field. These old emotions can present as anxiety or panic attacks, depression, PTSD, chronic physical or emotional pain, disease, feeling stuck or confused, or not fully in your body or on your life path, which is why I'm so happy to have Karen Downing as my guest today. During past life regression, we work to heal the blockages and release stuck energy by finding the lifetime of origin of what's holding you back from living the joyful life that you're intended to live. We can reframe trauma and complete lessons such as gratitude, forgiveness, and shore up or even establish healthy boundaries. With the aid of our higher self and guides, we can release expectations and emotions, balance our egos and our chakra energy centers, raise our energetic vibration and frequency, heal our DNA at the cellular level, which allows us to de-age. That really is possible. It is possible to youth. And we spiritually surrender to flow with the universe. My clients travel to a healing temple via a guided meditation, 
and people learn how to return there on their own in the future or to heal a loved one as a surrogate healer for them. We also travel to the place of all knowledge, which some see as the Akashic Records. Clients access information from their higher self or soul, their guides, and the light that they haven't been able to fully dial into before. Also to assist clients, I'm now hosting free monthly new and full moon meditations. We meditate together as a group remotely, each from the comfort of our own home, and then share our experiences on the Facebook event page that's set up for the new and full moon meditations. The next uh, meditations of this type with the Masters and Angels are scheduled for December 17th, January 1st, 16th, and 31st. So they're occurring every two weeks. For my final announcement, I'm privileged to have been selected as one of the speakers for Chris Stein's 26th Annual Women of Wisdom Conference. The WOW Conference, isn't that a great name? Will be held the weekend of February 17th and 18th at North Seattle Community College. I'll be facilitating Who Do You Think You Are? An experiential past life regression workshop on Sunday, February 18th from 2.30 to 5.30. The workshop is open to men as well as women and can be a lot of fun to do as a couple or with friends. Please visit womenofwisdom.org for more information and to sign up for this transformative weekend. WOW will offer both single day and weekend registration options. It's my privilege now to introduce spiritual teacher Karen Downing. We're delighted to take your calls after the first break at 1-800-930-2819. That number again, 1-800-930-2819. I first met Karen several years ago via our mutual friend, intuitive artist, and author Lori Regan. I had an incredible experience during a group meditation that Karen was facilitating, and I've been happy to work with her ever since. I find Karen's connection with Source to be pristine, and her knowledge bank is truly remarkable. She's also the most detailed, accurate past life reader I know. So welcome, Karen, to Soul Wisdom Radio. Well, thank you so much for having me on today. Well, I am really, really happy to have you here. Could you speak briefly um, from the client perspective as how your own regression healing and past life regression session was helpful for you or what it might have changed for you? Well, I find past life regression to be incredibly helpful at tuning into precise emotions that you may be feeling in the now, but you can't quite put your finger on why you're feeling it. So that has been incredibly helpful for me. Another thing, too, is you will discover some of the kind of hidden reasons behind why you might have an ache or a pain in a certain area. I can recall sitting there and hearing Wendy's voice, which, by the way, is so very relaxing. I have a hard time. Even on your intro, I was like, oh, wow, I feel like I'm in my regression. Um, (laughs) And so... It's it really takes you on this journey. And there was this one past life that we revealed during the session where my right arm was malformed. Um, I have always had a lot of pain off and on in the right shoulder and shoulder blade. And actually, during that lifetime in the regression, I was holding my arm uh, very differently. I had my hand up at the shoulder, and it was like uh, very tight, and I couldn't move it. And so very aware of how that related to the specifics of that past life, uh, not only where the physical pain was, but also the emotional emotions that came through. So uh, anything that you you are having struggle with understanding, whether emotional or physical, um, it's really fun to actually explore past life regression, go in with an open mind. And as Wendy said in her announcements, the uh, regression is about connecting with what is most present or what is most needed at that time. So you may or may not uh, find out exactly what you are looking for, but the answers will be far better than you realize because you'll be able to connect to so much. Um, Also, too, we've had the pleasure of connecting with uh, high presence of higher self, different uh, ascended masters that have come through. So all in all, it's been wonderful. 
Well, thanks, Karen. I really appreciate that. And you're always just a delight to work with. So let's seg now, <laughs> um, segue now and discuss whether there is a link between anxiety and not knowing one's life purpose. Do you feel there's a correlation? I do. I think that many of us, because of how we are wanting to participate in society, we feel this inner calling for what am I here to do? How am I here to help? And, you know, we go through the process of gaining our degrees through school, working in a job, and still that void is never really filled. And it is that kind of emptiness feeling surrounding what our life purpose is that gets us really caught up in anxiety. It's like there's something out there I need to do and I don't feel right until it is accomplished or until I reach this certain milestone. We put these subconscious uh, hurdles really in our way when we don't understand or when we're not connected to our life purpose and soul mission. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Well, we're going to be going to break in a moment. So um, we have a caller um, waiting patiently from Boston. So we will get to her um, right after we go to break. You're listening to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams and my superb guest, Soul Mission Facilitator, Karen Downing. What's the best way for people to reach you, Karen? Well, the best way is to contact me directly through my website at YourSoulMission.com or you can send me an email, Karen, K-A-R-E-N, at YourSoulMission.com. Super. Well, stay tuned and we'll be right back to continue the conversation and to answer your questions at 1-800-930-2819. Tune in to The Truth is Funny with Colette Stephan each Wednesday at 8 a.m. Pacific, 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This hit show will have you thinking outside the box and riding the wave of infinite potential. Join Colette on the Higher Self Network, inspiring listeners to shine their brilliance and ensure success while roaring with laughter as they recognize the humor of the giant cosmic joke. Visit TheTruthIsFunny.com. Integrate spirituality into your everyday lives on Universe Soul Heart Radio. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio as Kathleen Johnson explores the concept of sensible spirituality, keeping you grounded, connected, and centered on the path to wholeness. Kathleen has dedicated her life to facilitating holistic healing and wholeness in others. Listen to Universe Soul Heart Radio and learn how to flourish, grow, and impact all we do on planet Earth. For more information, go to universesoulheart.net. Don't you wish you had more joy in your life? Check out the new book by Robert Max Schoenfeld, For the Love of Joy, a 30-day adventure for creating joy in your life because you deserve more joy, more love, more health, more abundance, and more life. Available now on Amazon. Get your copy today. Visit theartofpowerfulliving.com. That's theartofpowerfulliving.com. What is a brilliant culture, and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you align your culture with your business strategy for exceptional results. Looking for a culture that drives organizational excellence? Listen to Cultural Brilliance Radio, the second and fourth Friday of each month at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. To learn more or work with Claudette, visit culturalbrilliance.com. Hey, did you know why they call the foundation the foundation? It's called the foundation because it completely eliminates your foundation for what you thought your reality was and creates a whole new space where you can have an entirely new reality that is foundationless. So from my point of view, they should call it the unfoundation or the foundationlessness. Either way, there's a big new global rewrite happening again because these guys cannot stop changing. There should be like a change anonymous that Gary and Dane go to. And it's happening April 28th to May 1st. You can find out about it at accessconsciousness.com forward slash global foundation. It's happening in Paris. Go to Paris or do it online or find a pod near you. These are all the options you have. 
And what else is possible? Welcome back to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams and my special guest, Karen Downing, a soul mission facilitator and past life specialist. Um, We're discussing the correlation between anxiety and not knowing one's life purpose and lots of other things regarding um, soul mission too. So we're going to go straight to callers. And I'd like to bring on Shiva from Boston, who's been patiently waiting. Welcome, Shiva. Uh, What would you like to ask Karen? How can we help you? Hi, Karen. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. It seems like this uh, show is definitely for me. (laughs) Uh, Seems like you guys are definitely talking to me. (laughs) Great. Well, what can we help you with? Um, Definitely. I suffer from anxiety and um, Mm -hmm. also is um, questioning my life purpose and um, that's why I said this show is definitely for me. So some anxiety and some questions regarding life purpose was what I was hearing. Karen, would you like to reply to that? Sure. Um, what is coming through here is that uh, there's a strong connection with creativity and artistry that's not being fully explored. And it is not what I would say like traditional creativity, meaning um, although you could sit down and create a piece of art, um, what I'm actually seeing is more of a unconventional creativity. For example, um, taking something that was used in one manner and repurposing it or giving it new life. Uh, there would be such a joy for you in that. And I'm talking about anything from, you know, creating a sculpture out of scrap metal to something that's a little bit easier to begin with, like repurposing clothing, making them into handbags, uh, other things of that nature. So there's a real connection there with taking something and giving it new life, putting that into, like I said, an unconventional purpose. And what this is going to do, it's going to reconnect you down with the lower chakras. And for you, that is a big source of where the anxiety is stemming from. And the reason why you feel it is because it's this unused energy. It's like a miniature volcano that's just bubbling and going, okay, I need to be used. I need to be put into something. I need to be connected. So that's what I'm feeling here for you. And just think about how that unconventional creativity may emerge. Just a few little tidbits of ideas came through, but it's really for you to meditate on or to explore on your own exactly how that's going to be fulfilling to you. But that is definitely one big path. And you can accomplish that in such a wide variety of of ways. This doesn't need to be pinned down simply to a career path or a job role. This is just something that this energy can be utilized to really help release that miniature volcano in a nice and gentle way and also give you some fulfillment in this vocation. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Wonderful. Well, thank you for calling in, Shiva. And we're going to go now to uh, Mary from it, Seattle. Mari, yeah. Mari. Yes, thank you. Thank you, Benny. Mm-hmm. Mari, welcome. Oh, hi there. Hi, Karen. Hi. Thank you uh, for taking my call. Um, my question absolutely. is twofold, but I'll be happy with an answer to one because I know there's a time constraint. Um, I experience a lot of confusion, and of course, this is also related to you know what am I supposed to be doing? But um, I can think getting clear in my life has been an issue for me. So if you have some insight on that, that would be great. Yeah, <clears throat> excuse me. What I'm seeing here for you, uh, just on this clarity issue, is that you have a really heightened sensitivity to what I would call empathic and intuitive information. And what's going on is, even though you're not 
consciously always aware of this. It's like you're being bombarded with a lot of extra extra information, stuff that you don't really need to know, uh, stuff that is not always relevant. And even though, again, it's not at the top of your consciousness, your brain and your aura and your energy is all taking this in. And it's becoming like this big mixture of different things that are all being mixed up like a big, you know, dinner soup. And Mm. so what I would recommend is as you are working at just at the focus part of things, and I'll address the other part in a bit, but as you're working on the focus side of things, just I would start every morning with asking your guides, uh, the angels, your ascended masters, whoever it is you are typically in conversation with to not give you any extra input, insight, or information other than what you need in any given moment. Mm, um, yeah, okay. you know, we have that ability mm. and we sometimes forget. Um, and mm-hmm. you're so used to it because it's happened your whole life. You probably wouldn't even, yeah. I mean, it's just always been there. It's like, I can see you even being a child and just like knowing things about something that was going on or having a feeling that would come over you and, would kind of take the lead in something. Um, People may have pointed out to you that you could be like a kind of a daydreamer or that you seem to be kind of lost in thought. It's only because there's so much coming at you that sometimes it's challenging to determine like, hey, I need to shut that part off. And I'm, you know, I'm here at this party and I need to talk to people instead of being, you know, thinking about this other thing going on. So, um, yeah, Ah, absolutely talk with your guides on that. All right. That makes sense. Uh, Mary, did you have, uh, Mari, did you have an additional question? Was there something else? More about the, you know, finances <laughs> My, or what I'm supposed to be doing. I know you can't answer that in a minute, but. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I will try. I will, I'll try to give you some yeah. focus. But something, yeah. Um, Thank you. Yeah, I'm. I'm seeing a very positive connection with you and um, something to do with, well, this is just what's coming through, something to do with like staging homes uh, or taking photographs of homes, something along the lines of real estate, but not the traditional kind of agent route. Um, You have an ability to create a, an emotion that comes through um, and and tune into the emotion of what you want to create. Um, that would definitely be mm-hmm. something I would um, go through the process of of exploring and learning about working with color. Um, you know, spa- it could be interior design, uh, interior decoration, anything kind of in that realm. But you have this ability to tune into an emotion huh. and allow others to share that too. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Well, I never thought of that. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'll explore that. <laughs> well, okay, wonderful. Thank you so much. Well, thank, thank you, you for thank you for calling in today. All right. Well, Karen, let's um, get back to another another question um, that I have for you. Is what are some of the ways that listeners can discover their life path? in addition to doing a formal past life regression or working with a spiritual teacher, does our life path tend to overlap with what we feel passionate about? There is a lot of overlap. Um, I would say before somebody even explores that, that I would challenge listeners to kind of disconnect the idea from life purpose having to be a career. I think that once that disconnect is made, it actually becomes easier to tune into your true life purpose. We try to put it in a box of this has to be a career role. So that's the first step. Then after that, there's various things you can do. You can look back to childhood and ask yourself what activities brought me joy or what emotions did I want to foster in another person? Those two questions there will give you massive insight into your life purpose. And, um, you know, our life purpose is things like helping other people to 
uh, feel better emotionally or assisting the uh, world in understanding the connection with color. I mean, these things like that are our life purpose. They're not necessarily, um, you know, job ABC. So if we can let that go, it becomes a lot easier and we can see that our life purpose can manifest in oftentimes countless different job roles. I see that that's making much more sense to me because when you first were um, beginning to speak, that was a little counterintuitive um, for me. So that's making good sense now because we had discussed before that the the job title, when you try and really correlate that um, with life purpose, it can be a trap. So mm-hmm. that's that's making that's making good sense now. All right. Well, we're going to go to a short break in a moment, but first let's recap our contact information. Um, Karen, your website is YourSoulMission.com, and how else can uh, listeners contact you in addition? You can also contact me by my email. That's Karen, K-A-R-E-N, at YourSoulMission.com. Super. And you'll find me at WendyRoseWilliams.com and on Facebook. Um, I offer 15-minute complimentary phone consults for Soul Wisdom Radio listeners and new clients. So please request your appointment via my website. Because a vision softly creeping left its seeds while I... Stay juicy. Tune in to Your Juicy Love with me, Una Drake, co-hosting monthly with Dr. Pat and every second Monday at 12 p.m. on Transformation Talk Radio. My show, Your Juicy Love, helps you find the dynamic, life-affirming love you've always wanted. Transform your relationships and bring peace, joy, and juicy, juicy love to planet Earth. For more information, visit unadrake.com. Choose the new Earth on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. Tune in each week on Transformation Talk Radio as Cornelia takes listeners on an odyssey of higher consciousness to inspire, educate, and empower. Cornelia guides people on the path of self-healing, peace, and liberation. The Cornelia Stephanie Show is your catalyst for anchoring heaven on Earth on a global scale. For more information, go to CorneliaStephanie.com. Did you know that all of the shows on the Transformation Radio Network are available as podcasts to stream or download? Really? Check us out. Go to TransformationRadio.fm. We have business shows, spiritual shows, energy healing shows, and pretty much everything in between. Something for everyone guaranteed to inspire, educate, and transform. We are transforming the world one listener at a time. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net. Tune in each Friday, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern on Transformation Talk Radio. Tune into the wisdom of your soul for guidance on living a joyful life. On Soul Wisdom Radio, Wendy will provide inspiration to raise your vibration and connect with your higher self and guides. Learn how to balance your ego and to progress spiritually on Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com or Transformation Talk Radio to learn more about a healing session with Wendy and her events and publications. Your happiness is your choice on Natural Peace Radio. Follow Sarah Van Ryswick as she addresses the power of emotions. Each month, Sarah covers different topics as she helps listeners activate their energetic spark and create powerful energy and amazing opportunities. Manifest your desires with Natural Peace Radio. For more information on Sarah and her work, visit naturalpeaceliving.com. I walked alone Narrow streets of cobblestone Neath a halo of a streetlight Welcome back to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams and Soul Mission Facilitator and Spiritual Teacher Karen Downing. 
Karen, can you tell our listeners more about the past life quiz that's on your website at yoursoulmission.com? Do you feel that past lives play into our life purpose and our soul mission in a meaningful way? Is there sometimes a thread um, that we're pulling across many lifetimes? Oh, absolutely. One of the things that the past life quiz does is it helps you to discover, basically, it's an archetype model for repetitive past life experiences that you've had. So in that, you will discover both the gifts and the challenges of... Did we lose you? Karen, we're oh, having yeah. yeah having a little trouble hearing you at this point. So Karen was speaking about the archetypes, and Benny will work to um, bring her back. Yeah, I'll try to back, get her back. So just back yeah. on air here. Um, and archetypes are are just um, the very big picture of energy and roles that we can play over time. It's things like the mother, um, the the lover, uh, the warrior. Um, those sorts of those sorts of archetypes that have a, a big part um, in our psyche, and Karen has discovered and developed uh, sixteen of these over the years, and and brought them in very specifically. Um, and I did some work with her in that area, and it was very um, helpful for me um, to see how often I was falling back into that old energy without being really conscious of it. Um, it just was very comfortable from having done it many times before. For instance, I had been um, the archetype that she calls the ruler. Um, and that's great, but that should be one hat you put on. And it's also a hat that you need to be able to take off graciously um, at times. And from Having done it um, a lot of times, you can put that that crown on um, a little too quickly. Uh, some of the other archetypes that Karen talks about are are the victim, uh, the servant, the unwell. The unwell is is a fascinating one because it's someone who tends to have health problems um, again and again and again, um, and that can need some help um, to be released. So. That's something that's that's important. Um, so certainly encourage you to um, check out her her website and look at that. Perfect. Let's try back, Karen. Did we get you back? Yes, I'm here. Great. Thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, Karen, if you can pick up where you were, that would be wonderful. Yes. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, the way in which that connection works is that each of those 16 past life archetypes carry expertise and challenges. And when you explore your specific mix of these past life patterns, and typically we carry between three to five in a very prominent way. So by looking at these and their communication between each other, you can start to pick up on what expertise you already have on an innate subconscious level. And that right there is the thread to your life purpose and soul mission. What have you done before? What have you done well? What also have you feared in the past? What fears have you overcome? We also become fabulous teachers for the fears we have faced and transformed both in our past lives and our present. Wonderful. And fears is such a, an interesting topic because that's where we can create a lot of um, self-limiting beliefs and blockages. And I definitely um, have experienced some of this myself and certainly lots of clients too. And now that you've decoupled uh, life purpose needing to, you know, fully equate to our quote day job, how we make a living, our career, realizing that it can flow more easily than that. That's, that's really, um, helping me and, and I'm sure helping our listeners too. Um, could you speak a little bit more, Karen, to some of the other fears, um, that come up for people in the context of life purpose and soul mission and what they can do to release some of those, just, just uh, tame that anxiety. <laughs> well, there's a lot of different fears that can emerge. Typically, they start as a more surface anxiety or apprehension. 
And then as they get explored, we find that there's a lot of common deeper fears, such as fear of being abandoned, fear of being betrayed, fear of death. Um, and there's actually a different, two different forms of fear of death. So you have fear of being killed. You have fear of passing, like from an illness. And sometimes even people will have fears of like an accidental passing. So I find all of those in the mix. These are at the very, very deepest level. So a lot of times when working with my clients, I do what I call an emotional deep dive. And we start with a very surface situation. Uh, let's say that you have some anxiety about... Um, finding a specific job since we've been talking kind of back and forth with job roles. Yes. And in working with the client, we'll explore, well, why, why is there anxiety here about not finding a job in a timely manner? And the person might say, oh, well, it's financial because I need the money right now. It's like, okay, well, that's a pretty common answer. So what's the deeper level of that? What is it about you not having a certain amount of money? Where does that lead to in fear? Does that lead to a fear of not being able to support your family, fear of not supporting yourself, a fear of something larger than that, not being able to uh, pay a upcoming property tax bill or something that's more specific focused. So the farther we get along, we actually gain more and more detail that connects the individual to their own past life history in that process. And uh, I find that to be incredibly powerful in releasing the fear because we create this release valve where the energy can actually have a pathway to come out instead of staying there stuck down as one of these deep fears that's just not connecting with anything on their surface life. Right, right. And one of the uh, mantras that we use really often in past life regression, once we can realize that it's it's actually a past life fear that's it's cropping up and and impacting now in a negative way is we just say and we learn that was then this is now because that that fear of not being able to pay the tax bill or that the taxes are just you know crazy ridiculous or whatever the fear might be that might very much um correlate to a past life where the person had some pretty severe consequences from not being able to pay the taxes and may have become homeless, may have become killed. Um, you know, it can just, it can just um, balloon and balloon up. Um, so is that, is that along the lines of what you're thinking, Karen? Oh, that's exactly it. Um, it, it becomes such a deep anxiety to, to use that example of paying the bills. It can become such a deep anxiety of somebody even getting worked up just in receiving an envelope, a bill envelope in the mail, a monthly bill, um, something that we all receive for your e on your email. And um a normal level of anxiety for receiving your e-bill from the power company. But if somebody has this very deep past life history of, like you said, the tax collector coming and taking their house, perhaps taking them away to prison, certainly there would be strong anxiety related around paying the bills and taking care of financial needs. So in order to release that fear, we have to create the pathway. And then from there, we can work at dissipating it and reminding ourselves that we are not in that lifetime now. Absolutely, because what's what's occurring with that too is is we're creating um, issues with we are working with the law of attraction, but in a negative way because the anxiety is just mm -hmm. bringing in more and more and more of that type of experience, um, so that we can um, break through and release it. So it really. Um, it really is a, a pivotal moment um, for a lot of us to be able to to be able to move through that. And because it's at so much of it's at the subconscious level, um, that's why it's it's hard um, to to move through there. Um, there's a wonderful book this is making me think of by Ainsley McLeod, um, who is a local um, best-selling author and a wonderful psychic called um, "Heal Your Past Life Fears." Actually, it's not a book. Um, I misspoke. It's a CD or MP3 
um, because he's got a wonderful um, healing voice too. And it can really, really help people with some of those most common um, past life fears like not having enough money, fear of water, um, you know, whatever, whatever those different things might be. So, all right. Well, Karen, um, another thing that's coming to mind right now is we can really be conditioned by society um, or our parents with the very best intent as to what constitutes a good job or making a good living. And does that then um, layer in kind of too heavily at times um, over our life purpose? Absolutely. I think that's a factor that everybody has to face in some way of what is our idea of a proper career path. Um, Really, the the answer is eventually it's going to be something that makes you happy. But the road to get there might be varied in how it looks. Absolutely. I think everybody will be at a different space of of comfort with that. Absolutely. I understand. Well, we're going to take a quick break in a moment. Um, Karen, um, what are the best ways for listeners to reach you? Can you provide your website for anyone that's just tuning in now? Sure. You can reach me at your soul Perfect. Thank you. And I can be reached at wendyrosewilliams.com regarding past life regression and spiritual guidance as I'm a certified spiritual teacher, in addition to being a past life regressionist and Reiki master energy healer. We'll be right back. Knowledge Book Radio with Marge Fantastic has a special gift for everyone out there. To receive three chapters of the Knowledge Book as a special gift, send your email to mmjp99 at gmail.com. That's Emma's and Mary, Emma's and Mary, JP99 at gmail.com now to receive this fabulous, fabulous gift of the Knowledge Book. Winning at the game of money. Lynn Brown is now offering Full Spectrum Finance, a progressive 12-month program that will help you to navigate through the mechanics of financial expansion. Finally, a financial planner who looks at the full spectrum of money and abundance, engage you in the mental, physical, and energetic aspects of finance. This is Full Spectrum Finance. Are you ready to get into it? For more information, go to fullspectrumfinance.com. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong for the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease we are not going to let you down we're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio the message will continue the conversations will become stronger and the healing epic Chances are you've been on your conscious journey for many years and you've learned a lot about manifesting a wonderful life But if you are like many others on their spiritual paths, you may still have some area of your life where you're feeling stuck. Perhaps you've read many books, attended lots of workshops, listened to many programs, and done plenty of inner work, and yet there is still something you'd like to change. With all the information out there, it may be hard to see the forest for the trees. Do you want to get a bird's eye view of that forest so you are empowered to navigate more effectively? Do you want to know the key to positive change and develop a personalized strategy for creating the changes you desire? Please join me, Christine Upchurch, for a four-week webinar series beginning January 9th. Start your new year right and embrace the vibration of change. For more information, visit christineupchurch.com. That's christineupchurch.com or call 425-999-9836. Well, 
Welcome back to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams, Living Your Joyful Life. My special guest is Karen Downing, uh, my friend. Um, Karen can be found on the web at YourSoulMission.com and on YouTube, and you can reach me via my website at WendyRoseWilliams.com. Um, we're discussing life purpose and soul mission today, and we're going to go straight to um, our caller, Karina, who is calling in from San Diego. Welcome, Karina. Do you have a question or comment? Hey, Karina, are you there? You need to turn off your radio, sweetheart. Okay, okay. There we okay, go. Okay, one second. Thanks. Uh, car speaker. My question is, um, I would like to know, can you sense what um, my purpose, for the purpose of my uh, significant other and myself, uh, for us to be together, is there like a purpose or... Because we're we're both kind of like in different directions, and is it like is the purpose over, or is there still a purpose for us to be together? Sure, that's a good question. Um, what I'm seeing actually is there is a there is an upcoming purpose where the two of you can choose to stay together to focus on this. I'm seeing uh, you both working for some type of it looks like actually an organization that you run or manage, one or both of you at some point, and you are packing up all of these boxes of toys and clothes and food that can travel and just shipping these care packages to children and families all over the world. Um, it's a really powerful organization that I'm seeing you connected with and everybody's wearing these same like navy blue t-shirts and khaki pants all working together on this line and it's very joyful and happy in that regard. So there's a strong connection with the two of you in doing that. But that being said, when it comes to relationship dynamics, there's always a personal choice factor that can get in the way of these things. So if you're feeling a um, disconnect at the moment, I think that can come back around with this kind of shared purpose. But you can never make the other person be passionate about a purpose or a direction. So that being said, this is definitely something for you in your path. I do believe your significant other would have a strong connection with this as well, but it, it's definitely up to them. Oh, that's very interesting because um, that's kind of out of left field. Do you see approximate time for that project? Um, I'm seeing you being in the part of that project, meaning that it's going really well and everything's already off the ground and running in about two years. Two years. That's um, that's very interesting um, because it's... <laughs> um, yeah, okay. Um, well, so that's... Um, uh, is there like a, a sole purpose for us to be together? Um, well, there is a sole purpose to come together in a relationship. So both of you would have had various past lives with each other. And so you come together to work through that past life connection um, on your end. There has been five significant past lives that you're working through. And on the end of your significant other side of things, there is four significant past lives to work through. So that's a lot of past life energy. And that's sometimes why the dynamic of the relationship can ebb and flow a lot. You can be very connected in one particular past life perspective. They can be connected in another past life perspective. And it's like these two waves that don't always line up, but eventually they will line up and crash onto the shore at the same time as you move through all these different kinds of pieces of this dynamic. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, cause it seems like, um, like we are meant to be together, but at the same time, it seems like, you know, we, um, it's, it's just, it's, uh, it's like this, a magnet that's something that is repelling. Mm -hmm. That's, you know, it, I don't know. I, 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 it's, it's, I, sometimes it feels like there's a, you know, when magnets are on the, when they repel each other, 
Mm -hmm. And that's why I'm wondering, like, is this, like, is the reason that we're feeling this repellent is because maybe um, we're not destined uh, to be together or to finish together. If I can add to that. Well, that's all. If I can add to that, um, this is Wendy, just sometimes energy just ebbs and flows and it doesn't always go in a, a straight line, particularly when you're working through a lot of powerful past life energy. Um, so just, I know it can be hard to do, but just trying to relax into it and letting it be what it's meant to be can just open new doors of possibility right there. So Karina, thank you so much for calling. We really appreciated um, your contribution and your questions. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Have a great day. Yes, you too. Uh, Karen, one last question, and then we're going to need to wrap up. Um, can you okay. contrast um, quickly a uh, little bit of the difference between life purpose and soul mission? Is soul mission the larger? Can you make a quick comment on that? Yes, uh, soul mission is what I call our divine essence or the basically the drop of higher source or God that we are made in the image of. So it might be compassion or kindness or creativity or technology or scientific exploration, on and on and on. So our soul mission is like a word. It is an essence. And during the course of different lifetimes, we will be learning different aspects of our soul mission. So we might be learning about having a life where we provide kindness, where we receive kindness, where we experience no kindness at all and everything in between. So each of the ways in which that manifests itself is directly related to our life purpose in any given incarnation. Perfect. Thank you. So it's very big. It's very simple. It's very profound Mm -hmm. is what I'm hearing. Well, thank you, listeners, Mm -hmm. for tuning in to Soul Wisdom Radio. Thank you to Benny Mathers, um, our wonderful producer who makes all the magic happen. Thank you to Karen Downing, um, my wonderful guest. Please join me the first Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern. My January 2nd guest will be Jenny Nordine from the Doggone Seattle Dog Rescue at doggoneseattle.org. Jenny and I will discuss the current reality as well as some good news for the supply versus demand for dogs, both locally in Seattle and in other parts of the world. Part of my life purpose is to change that an estimated 5,500 dogs a day are being put to death in the U.S. alone. Yes, sadly, you heard me right. 5,500 a day, many of whom are young, healthy, and quite adoptable or can easily be so with some savvy rescue assistance, vet care, socialization, or training if we could find a suitable home for them. And then on February 6th, Soul Wisdom Radio will focus on the crucial topic of how to end sex trafficking and slavery. Please contact me with your expert speaker ideas for this vital discussion. Please visit wendyrosewilliams.com regarding the group events that I mentioned earlier, as well as private sessions with me, which range from a one-hour soul wisdom healing session to the comprehensive regression healing past life regression or a 90-day executive energetic boot camp. Until next time, this is Wendy Rose Williams from Soul Wisdom Radio thanking you for joining us and helping us build the 5D heaven-on-earth energies of peace, love, and joy. Happy holidays to everyone. You've been listening to Soul Wisdom Radio with Wendy Rose Williams. Tune in each month on Transformation Talk Radio to raise your vibration and live a joyful life. Wendy reviews crucial energy basics in fresh new ways from her perspective as a past life regressionist, Reiki master energy healer, and spiritual teacher, including how to ground, clear, and balance your energy to be sovereign. Tune into your soul's infinite wisdom, raise your vibration, and discover your greatest joy on Soul Wisdom Radio. Visit wendyrosewilliams.com to download this podcast, to learn more about having a healing session with Wendy, or to order one of her publications. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.